I remember using mine for the first time. It wasn't very long, but I enjoyed every second of it. The first Air Force One I ever bought, whew, amazing. Wait, what did you think I was talking about? Perfect. Hello there broskies, Erkin back here with another review to a very special pack in my opinion. On today's episode, we are having a look at the Nike Air Force One first use. So I was scrolling on Twitter, as you do, just looking at my plugs and seeing what they're sharing, what's just been released, what's on offer, what's on sale. And I come across these bad boys. I was like, whoa, hold on a minute. We're gonna need to have a close look at this one. On first glance, I kind of thought it resembled the Nike and Stussy collab, but then I got these in hand and I was even more blown away. Now this was a shock drop and a very limited one at that. These did release here in the UK on the 18th of June this year and for a retail price of 95 pounds. Hold on a minute, before we go any further, I want to introduce you to a special guest. You ready? He's a bit shy. No, he's not. Cause he's on my face. Have you seen this spot, bruh? I'm gonna start charging it rent soon. Look at that. Anyways, in terms of the box, these do come with your standard Nike Air Force One box, which is in a shade of dark gray slash black with the Nike Air Force One in metallic silver on top of it. And judging by the looks of the box, of course I bought these from JD. But in terms of the product sticker, it does say Air Force One 07 Elevates and the official colorway is light stone, black and sail. Now, like I shortly mentioned, I did get these from JD and I think these were the only retailers here in the UK to get these. I haven't seen anyone else to be fair have these so I think it was a JD exclusive. But in terms of the Nike first use pack, a little history behind it. Nike are given a lot of these legendary silhouettes so many different colorways to choose from. Some of the standout ones bar this one was the Air Max 90 that I've seen and I really liked. And another silhouette that caught my eye was the Nike Dunk in this cell slash green color. That just looks very premium and special in my opinion. Now even though these did sell out pretty quickly, you might want to buy these on StockX or somewhere like that. But if you are thinking about getting these on the resale market, of course you want to think about how the sizing is and for me i went from my normal sizing to any normal air force one and in my experience that is going half a size down and i'm even using crease preventers there's still a little bit of room which i do like so if you don't use those maybe you could get away with one size down but for me in my preference i went half a size down so i know there's that one question on everyone's lips right now broski do these crease and yes unfortunately these will but we are going to touch on the materials right now so you can have a closer look. Now you can tell straight away the look and feel to this sneaker is so premium. I'm surprised there wasn't more hype behind it and more colorways to be fair. I know there was a red version but this colorway was just the one. Now the overlays of this silhouette consist of this suede material which isn't the hairiest or even the smoothest. It's sort of nicely balanced but it's of that light stone color and of course the underlays are in this sort of rubbery leather feel which are of course in this cell colorway. But we have that stitched silhouette to the Nike swoosh on the lateral side with the right first use June 18th 1971 and there is a difference to the medial side it is of this leather panel to the Nike swoosh and making our ways to the lacing and this is where it keeps it interesting these do come with the sail and light stone colored laces now we've got this Nike swoosh pendant that attaches to the laces in this shiny gold color and it has a nice little diamond sticker to it but we have this sail nylon tongue with the old school Nike branding on top on the sock liner it's of that soft cotton feel but the insole is a wowzer it is a very comfortable insole but one thing that really stands out when you look at it is of course all these nike logos running down the middle it's just the little things that us collectors appreciate most now at the back we've got that old school nike branding again on top of that red panel and on the midsole it is of course all white with this red stitching as well that gives it a nice little accent and on the outsole of course if it's not broken don't try and fix it we do have that traditional air force one setup what a work of art Honestly, Nike, you have really outdone yourself with this one. But we have come to that part of the show where I have to still decide whether these bad boys are a buy or a buy. 
Now I made a few promises to myself, I'm gonna limit the amount of sneakers that I buy for my personal collection this year. And damn it, I might have to break the bank for these ones because the feel and look to these might just be the best Air Force One to come out this year. And I did like those crater fly knits, but this one might just take that top spot. So overall, this really took me by surprise. I am indeed going to give these a buy. But I am curious to know what you think about this Nike Air Force One first use. Are you digging this silhouette or are you looking at any other sneakers from the first use pack? Leave it all down below and I will be pinning the best comments. But anyways, broskies, myself and my special guest want to give you a big thank you for watching this far. Don't forget, hit me up on IG as well because I do post previews to upcoming videos. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share. And of course, Till the next episode, take care.